Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's taken me this long to finally do this, but we're going to do the full face palette challenge with my Panda palette for this year, the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So it's been a while since I've done a full face palette challenge, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know, first of all, that I like to take these pretty seriously. I don't want to like just make a kind of like a joke out of these and see how crazy I can make my makeup look after using one palette for everything on my face. I want to give these the best shot at working and I want to like do the base makeup really well just so I could see how the shadows actually perform because there was a time when I literally could not afford the majority of makeup and knowing if a palette could be multitasked in that way would have helped a ton. And the second reason is because if you're looking for like a pen that palette, if you're looking for something in a pen, odds are you're going to be using those shades and multitasking. You're not just going to use them as eyeshadows. So also seeing if you can use them for a full face is really helpful there as well. And I've looked back through my videos. I could have swore I did this already with this palette, but I can't find it. So I don't know if I hallucinated that video, but <laughs> we're here and I'm starting with an actual bare face and not my base on. Well, I did my eyebrows, so I did take the black shade. I did my brows. I threw some brow gel in, but I want to do like a bright blue green eye and I know that fallout was going to get everywhere. So we're going to do the eyes first. And like I did in one of my previous pan that palette updates, I'm not going to hold the palette up and show you. Uh, what shades I'm using just because it's so big and it would get bulky. So I'll throw the pick of the palette somewhere up here and I'll show you each shade as I dig into it. All right, so I just threw on some Urban Decay Primer Potion and I want to go in with this bright teal as the base because something I've always wanted to try was using this as the base and then going in with the green shades because someone mentioned that they did that and I was like, ooh, that might look really pretty so again i'm not worried about being neat here i haven't done any primer on my face or anything because after this is done i'm gonna like clean up all of this so this is more of a makeup playtime for the eyes i also put on the green lights back behind me so we could have like a, a green day you know i gotta say as i'm applying the shade it does look slightly patchy so i am kind of building it up yeah that took like three layers to build that up i'm so glad i did my eyes first because look at all this <laughs> This is gonna be very much a uh, trust the process kind of video. All right, we've got that on. Now I'm gonna go in with the deep green. Ooh, they do look pretty together, don't they? You know, in the pan, they look so different, but I think once you blend them out, they look very complimentary. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. And I'm just gonna take the first brush that I used. I'm not adding any extra pigment to it, but I'm just gonna re-blend out these edges just to make sure you can still see that blue. I'm going for a very dramatic look. Besides looking fine, I don't know why I'm getting some weird like patchiness right here, but I think I'm looking at, yeah, you're gonna see that, so hmm. I might bring in a little bit more of the blue. Yeah, there's something weird of like the eye primer right there. Do you see it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you know what? We are almost at the point to clean it up. After, If after I wipe it up, if it still looks bad, we might redo this since all I have are my eyes on right now. Um, but let me throw on the shade. So I want to go in with the light green, or light, light green, the green shimmer. So I've got my NYX glitter glue. I think this will make a really pretty halo eye. So let's build this up. You know, if anything, I kind of wish this shimmer shade was just a tad like lighter and brighter, like a lighter, brighter green, I think would have really complemented these shades a bit more. Okay, I think the lids are done. We're looking very interesting, aren't we? So let's work some magic. It's still a little weird patchy right over there, but I think it, it's not too noticeable. You know, I think it came out really cute. Now that we've got all of that fallout done, I'm gonna jump off camera and do my base, get everything put on and powdered down, and then we'll, we'll be back to do the rest of the face. All right, we have our base on. We are totally powdered and we're ready to move on. But before we do, let me tell you what I did for my base. For foundation today, I used the Amisha Signature Real Complete BB Cream. And then I went into the concealer I'm not a huge fan of, but I kind of want to keep testing it out. It's the Urban Decay Naked Quickie. 
yeah, stay naked, quickie concealer. It's, it's not the best. For powder, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I baked on my under eyes and I set that kind of the rest of down here <laughs> with it. And then over top, just to powder it down. I've got two um, powders that have the a good amount of pan that I've repressed and I want to just use them up so this is it's a little bit messy this is the balm sexy mama translucent powder and then I've got this powder from pure I just recently repressed it so I used both of those to kind of set down here and up here all right so I want to finish my eyes last so I'm not going to do the lower lash line until we're basically ready to do setting spray so let's start with a contour shade now there's a couple of shades in here that could work but they're all very warm aren't they so I'm thinking of using uh, this shade from the very bottom. It's kind of, it's still pretty warm. There aren't a whole lot of cool tones. This is basically a huge warm palette. So I'm gonna take this on my contour brush and I'm gonna give it a tap on my hand first. And then I'm not just gonna like stamp it on. I'm gonna try and like brush it in like this. Maybe it'll give us a better, a better contour. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a duo fiber because blending is the name of the game And I did just like wash all my brushes last night. So I've got like completely clean Brushes to use here. It is pretty stripey Not superly blending out well, but we'll go in with bronzer on top and we'll see how That works out because if it really doesn't look great. I've got some techniques we could use to uh, Help blend it in and I'm sorry if you can hear the AC going in the background, but it is summer. It is like 89 degrees here right now, and I am miserable. I cannot wait for fall. We got a couple of days last week where it was basically like a false fall, and we had like temperatures in the 60s, and it was breezy and wonderful, and then it went away, and I got so upset. <laughs> I cannot wait for it to actually get cold again. Oh, look, this side blended out a lot better than this side, so... Anyway, I cannot wait for fall, so until then you are going to hear that AC unit back there just because I can't not have it anymore. So for bronzer, now we're spoiled for choice when it comes to bronzer. I kind of want to do one of like these lighter toned shades because I think that would, it almost looks like a, um, what's the, the butter, the light butter bronzer almost. So I think I'm going to take this shade and my the brush I normally use for bronzer is actually drying right now. So I'm taking this um, AOA Studio F13 brush. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna warm up the face. Bring some life back into it. <laughs> That's where I'm tapping it off on my hand. Doesn't it like a bruise? <clears throat> I'm sorry, am I boring you? I can, Rex is sleeping on the other side of the room and I can hear him snoring. It is so loud. Okay. So I'm happy with it. I think this side is just a little, I don't know, this side blended out really nicely and this side didn't. So I kind of want to do my little trick. And the little trick is just taking a little bit of like a translucent or a skin tone powder close to you and then just kind of patting it on and like leaving it for a minute and then blending it out again. It'll like tone it down a little bit and hopefully make it look a bit more like this side. And while that is setting, I want to look for a blush shade. So we have a couple of options here. I kind of, hmm, I kind of want to go for one of these like darker shimmer shades. I think it'd make a really pretty blush, but I don't want to go too heavy on this because I do want to go in with a highlight and there is one shade that I can very likely use as a highlight. So I'm going to go with this like berry shade. It is the shade Cranapple very fall you know I, again i cannot wait for the fall and again i'm gonna tap it and go in just now realizing maybe i shouldn't have gone for such like a red blush with such a green eye but let's go christmas why not take a duo fiber brush so i'm not sure why but now the blush is looking patchy on this side hmm hmm Oh, and I see we lost some of this over here. So now I'm going to go back in with my Tiny Duo Fiber and we'll try blending that out more. Yeah, so that does look a lot better. Also, we got to remember that we are going to setting spray. It's like soak my face in setting spray. So hopefully it will help everything meld together. But overall, I mean, it's very warm. Obviously, it's a very warm palette. So we are looking pretty warm, but not terrible. 
not terrible. So now highlighter. So I'm going to just go in with the shade Beam for my highlighter because I've done that previously and it's almost gone. So I'm going to go in Cupid's Bow. It's such a pretty shade. It really is. Like this should be, they should sell this as a highlighter. Just do a little bit of do a fiber from the highlighter. Yeah, it's such a pretty highlighter. Honestly, I kind of want that as a full size highlighter. So now we need to finish the lower lash line. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. I'm just gonna go in first with the, the dark matte green and kind of really tight line this to like halfway up. And I don't have any uh, shadow on this. So I'm just gonna blend this out. And then for my lower lash line, what I like to do is take the darkest shade really close and then go back in with the lightest shade on the actual brush and then just kind of do basically the reverse blending you did up here. And it just really brings everything together so nicely. And I just love the way that it looks. I wanted a dramatic eye and we are getting a dramatic eye. To finish this eye look up, I'm just going to go in again with the same beam shade on the inner corner. Goodness, how pretty is that? So pretty. You know, that shade is almost gone in my palette and I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone because it makes a beautiful inner corner highlight. <sighs> All right, let us soak my entire face now in setting spray. Oh, and setting spray has saved the day. Look how pretty this turned out. I mean, this still does look a little bit patchy, but I love how this side turned out. Finish this. Honestly, it looked like this could use lashes, but I haven't really been wearing lashes. I haven't really been wearing lashes, so I kind of just want to stick to mascara. So, like, if I were going to go out or wear this for, like, a party or to go out, I would totally wear, like, a half lash. Because I think this look could really benefit from a half lash. And here we have the final look. Oh. I am so happy with how this turned out, though I definitely want to do this again, and I think I'm going to do a couple of things a little bit differently. So first off the bat, I definitely want to try a different shade for contour. I went with a matte shade, and honestly, from what I've seen, what I've experienced with this palette, the shimmers blend out better, and I think that would probably work a little bit better, especially with a light hand. So I would definitely try using, like, that's a, it's really warm though. Like I want to try using, like, a shimmer shade as a contour instead. Uh, Especially because I have an old ABH glow kit that is shimmer highlighters and those look so pretty as like a summery kind of contour. So I'm thinking maybe I could also mix and blend some shades together to find something that'd be a better actual contour. But th there is a challenge of getting a contour out of such a warm tone palette to begin with. Next for blush, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. The highlighter, I've used this as highlighter multiple times and I know it looks really, really pretty on me and I'm just really happy with how that turned out. But for blush, I mean, I've tried other shades as blushes before. I especially love the like mustard shade. What's it called? It's called Creamsicle. That's a really, really pretty blush on my skin tone. Um, I was trying to avoid shades that I already had a good amount of pan in. Like the highlighter shade, I kind of had to do anyway. But I tried to avoid those shades and really dip my toe into like new shades. So for blush, I don't know. If I was going to do something like totally just playing with makeup, I would have done like a purple or a teal blush. But for this kind of challenge, for what I do with the full face palette challenge, I want this to be like, I don't want to say wearable because any look is wearable, but something I would feel comfortable wearing, like going out on a date night or maybe for work. This this eye look is a bit much for work, but like excluding the eyes, the rest of this face, I would feel comfortable wearing to work. And I always have fun doing these challenges. So I definitely want to do this again. I don't know if I would film it. And if I do, it'll probably go in one of my Pan That Palette updates. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever those come out. And I will throw the entire Pan That Palette for this year playlist up in the cards. Let me know down below what you guys think and what other palette you want to see a full face palette challenge with next. Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.